Good morning, everybody. This is Jeanette. This is a follow-up video to a post that I put on Facebook in the Brother 2340 Cover Stitch groups, as well as, I believe, uh, Cover Stitch Sewing Discussion Group, where I surged a bound sleeve so that the binding lines up. Now, the reason for this is because I had a, a large order, which is, this is one of the sleeves. I'm done done with the order, but this is an extra sleeve that I had. And I needed to get it done fast. And I've never done, uh, searched a, a bound sleeve before. And every time I did it, it would come out wonky. So um, I decided, well, I'm going to go look for a video and... I did. I found one. It was from Hildy. She has the Cover Stitch Sewing Discussion Group, as well as she has videos under HildySews.com. And that's where I found the video on binding the bounds, you know, surging the binding sleeves. So I went on there and I watched it. I actually did buy the, uh, the hump jumper and I did make a little layered wedge for in the back like what she shows but I just couldn't get her method to work I tried and I it might have been just me but because I had 143 dresses which means 286 sleeves I had to get done I didn't want to mess around with devices I didn't want a hump jumper I didn't want a, a wedge I just wanted to get them done and I thought well if I have to go back to my old method, I will, which is surging them on, turning the binding over, and cover stitching it, which is time-consuming too. But I really wanted to use my binder. That's what I bought it for. And uh, I'm really liking to bind now. And this is this is the binder that is, it's called a top clean, bottom raw. It only folds in the front not in the back the back is flat it's raw edge back there and that's what you cover up uh, it does this method i'm going to show you does work on this which is all the sleeves that i did on that dress but i also wanted to see if it was going to do on a double fold which i have for my brother 2340 cover stitch i bought that double fold binder and i decided i'm going to try it to see if it works for a double fold too. So all the sleeves with the with the seven sixteenth binding was done on the brother twenty uh, the ten thirty four DX. This one with the double fold was done on my Genome thirty four thirty four D. And I'm going to show you the difference. There's a big difference in thickness bulkiness. I mean, the, the red one is like double the thickness of the yellow. And I prefer not to have bulk. I would rather have this. And I specifically bought this particular binder because I was doing baby clothes. And I didn't want to have double fold bulky on a baby's collar. So I just carried it on over into these sleeves because I think it looks so much nicer. But anyway, let's get going on how to, to surge them shut so they, uh, the binding edges come out even. Um, and you're, like I said, you're not going to use anything except for your foot and this very inexpensive, cheap finger. That's all it is. No matter which finger you use, it's free. So with that, let's go ahead and get going. I'm going to apologize beforehand because my hand might get in the way so uh, it is what it is so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put your needles all the way down and you bring your foot up now on this machine when you pull the foot up it releases the tension on all the threads so when you pull out like this you have no loops. Now in my Genome, when I did this, I did have to tug a little bit more to get just straight thread out. 
but I didn't break anything. It's not like, you know, I had to really tug, tug, but you know, it, it was a lot, this is a lot easier this way. So anyway, you were going to bring all your tails up and over your knife and just kind of leave them set there. All right. Now, when you go to line this up, you're going to line up. Let me get my little pointer thingy. You're going to line this, this bottom edge and this bottom edge together along with this edge. So you're going to get them to where you see where they're lined up in there, right there? You want them that way. Now you're going to have to keep it that way. So I just kind of pinch them. Because on this edge, you're going to take this edge and you're going to slide it up and put this up against your needles. This, These two up here. So kind of bear with me here. My, finger, my hands are going to get in the way. So now what you're going to do is you're going to lift your foot. And you're going to slide it all the way back, all the way back to your needles. And then as you do that, make sure the edge of this fabric does not go over your, your knife. Keep it to the left of your knife. Just butt it up against there. Okay? So now you're going to take your tails, the ones we set off to the side. You're just going to bring them up and put them on your foot. I have a little lever here, a little lip. That's where I put mine. I just put it there. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold them to where they don't have any slack. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your freebie devices, your finger, push it down and you see your foot bevels. Basically when it's beveling, that's the same thing that the hump jumper in the front was doing and the wedge in the back. It's keeping the, the foot level. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do a couple of turn downs into the fabric like that. Then you're going to take your tails and you're going to bring them up and over and then under your knife. Because what's going to happen when you go to surge this, let me get this, it's going to cut it off. You won't have to worry about it, okay? So just kind of leave it lay off over there. And then let's see here. All right. And then let's see here. And there you have it. They line up. Now, like I said, I, it took me probably about 10 practice sleeves because I'm going to show you what I was doing. I'll go ahead and put these down. So after I'd get it to this point, some of the practice thing, I would lay it off to the side here. And then there was always a bulk of threads up here. And you can see there's no bulk of threads up there. Then I would do it down here, and there was still a bulk of threads. Then I finally decided, okay, I'm going to do it over here, and that's when it worked. There was no bulk of threads up here, and it just turned out beautifully, and I just whipped right through them after I got done with the practice. I made sure I could do 10 sleeves perfectly before I went into the uh, actual garment tight. So that, this is my method. So if anyone wants to try it, please do. And kind of post what machine you're using and show us your project because I, I'm curious to see if it's going to work for anybody else. But like I said, I was able to do 286 sleeves by using this method and no devices except for the foot and your free finger. And with that, happy sewing, everybody.